I've been starting to explore some sketches for a very um, early version of an illustration project I'm working on. I got these nails from one of my favorite Etsy shops that specializes in really cute press-ons. Today is a super exciting day. Um, I'm about to go meet a fellow vlogger. I'm super hyped. I have never made like a friend on YouTube through my channel before. Today I'm meeting Lash. I'm super excited. We're gonna go have a cocktail and take in some stunning city views and hopefully, you know, capture a little content. But the point is really just to uh, have a ton of fun and I think we will. She's really fun. You guys will love her channel. I'll link it below so you can check her out too. And um, yeah, let's go. Wearing these earrings. I'm trying to get a little spring vibe going with this headband, floral headband. A little gift for Lash. These are super cute berry strainers. I should have taken a video beforehand, but maybe she will.
Slide it out. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. From the top. Isn't it cute? They had it in like floral. I got it in a white because I know you're like home decor specific. I know you love berries because I saw your vlog. April has been very busy and I know I say that every month but we're coming up to like a, a month and a half until our wedding when I'm not on my computer doing writing work I'm unpacking and sorting wedding stuff and doing wedding DIYs as you saw yesterday I finally had a chance to meet Lash it was so much fun we had a blast it felt like meeting an old friend and I guess because we've been watching each other's channels for so long we instantly started talking like old pals and like laughing hysterically. We also talked about maybe starting some kind of vlogger meetup kind of thing in New York, which would be so fun. It was a nice reminder to get out of my bubble and meet people, which I think gets harder and harder every year, especially post-pandemic kind of life or like post-lockdown life. It's like relearning how to be social um, still, which is funny. Anyway, I just ordered some ramen for lunch and I'm going to work on this office. I'm going to organize and clean it up so that I can sit down and do some wedding DIY. One of the things I chatted with Lash about is how uh, my channel used to be a lot more creative and now it's mostly like vlogs, but I want to bring the creativity back into it. So I'm going to challenge myself to sit down and do a project this evening. I guess I just want to express my joy that spring is here and no matter what anxieties are going on or like what chaos is going on I'm just so happy it's still pretty cold outside I really want to do some kind of like cherry blossom viewing picnic type vibe but it's been really chilly so I'll wait until the weather is a little bit nicer for that but for now let's have a chill spring evening at home my new spring background on my laptop is giving me all of the cozy treehouse vibes and I kind of want to live in a house that looks like this.
finally time to do the wedding flowers. <sighs> wow, this lighting is wild. Um, so Deanna's coming over in a little bit and we're gonna go through the wedding flower bouquet plan and put together the girls' um, bouquets out of these amazing artificial flowers that look really real. I'll show you a little bit of that. I will reveal the final bouquets and things um, in the like post-wedding video because um, I want to keep some things a secret, but I'm super excited to hang out and chat with her and do some fun floral things. Let me actually show you some of these flowers. So I got these smaller roses and these are like nine heads of roses per bundle. I got a white one and a blush. And then these larger cabbage roses, which I think maybe one or two for a bouquet. And then some, what I would call like filler roses, um, smaller buds. And then we have some, I think this is eucalyptus or willow. Actually, I can't remember, I think it's willow. But anyway, some greenery. And that's just gonna be like the base. Here's our eucalyptus, my go-to that I use for everything. And this is a giant peony, I think. I don't know that I'll use this, it's just so big. And then these are some little accents. There's some little accents to pop in. I basically wanted to keep the, the wedding colors, which are blush, sage green, or eucalyptus green, and this sort of muted navy. I'm not exactly sure what you would call it, but it's just so pretty, it's like stunning. So once Deanna gets here, we will start playing with some flowers. sprouted up a few brand new sprouts. So I thought I'd give you a bit of a voiceover at the end here because I'm not really talking much in this vlog, but I guess I just wanted to say I'm getting so excited for the wedding. It's really close. By the time you guys see this, it'll be a month away, which is insane. So I've been spending a lot of time in the studio here, just kind of messing around with these beautiful fake flowers, which in my opinion, they're some of the most gorgeous fake flowers I've ever seen in my life. They have really stunning detail. I've been linking to these Etsy shops in my description and I'll keep doing that because I really think these flower shops are just like next level. I don't know if this is the same quality you can get in like a Michaels these days or a regular craft store, but maybe it is, I don't know. So I've been doing things like um, trying to design the bridal bouquet, the bridesmaid bouquets. What I'm doing here does not end up being like a final version, I'm just kind of messing around and seeing how it looks. It's just kind of a precious time, I think, to be spending time doing DIY projects for this wedding because before I know it, I'm sure I'll like I'll blink and it will be over. So all the rest of the time leading up to it, I just really want to enjoy making things and doing the finishing touches and the excitement of beforehand because, I mean, last time I checked it was like six months away and now suddenly we're a month away. So I'm not sure how much vlogging I'll be getting done this month. I'm going to be doing a lot of work on the wedding. It's been a DIY effort, so there's just a lot to do. Check down below for the links to these beautiful uh, flower shops. You know, stay safe, choose optimism, uh, do something creative today, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.